All right, everyone, this is it. My final video about the Game Explain situation. Obviously, I've covered the situation extensively, and as such, I feel like you have to have an end point to the coverage at some point. I think the end point has now arrived after Andre uh, Seegers last night, yesterday, whatever, uh, released a twit longer uh, where that was an actual apology, but I, it still could be lacking for some people. But here's the thing. There really isn't anything else that's going to happen at this point, at least from the side of Good Vibe Gaming, the side of John Cartwright, the side of Andre. We're not really going to get anything else resolved out of it. We are at the point now where we've gotten out of this situation about as much as we can. We've gotten all the complaints, and we've gotten all the responses I think Andre is probably going to give. The thing is, the only thing that would ever make a new video on this situation possible, it would be if the current staff of Game Explain came out uh, and, and unveiled, I guess, more details of bad things happening. That's probably not going to happen because Andre said that he is currently treating those staff much better. He's paying them much better. He's paying them on time. He has... Uh, he's basically actually taking on the role of manager, paying attention to how much people are working, where projects are at, having set deadlines, all that jazz. Uh, I don't know if that's going to maintain moving forward, but that is what he's currently doing. And obviously the current staff are too new, I think, to really have any true complaints. Most people, when you get a new job and you're really excited about it, you're not going to complain about it for a while. So I don't think we're going to hear anything from those new staff, even if there was, was some bad stuff happening for years. So I think we are at an inflection point where it's time to, instead of focusing on, man, what do we want Andre to do? What do we want Game Explain to do? Is Game Explain canceled? You know, we should focus instead on the next steps, which is essentially the healing process and or the moving on process. There are some things that happen throughout all of this that are never good i didn't explicitly tell people not to do this but that's because it i knew it didn't matter if i said anything about it and i knew it didn't matter uh you know i i feel like when other people say things about it uh they're doing it mostly to save face and they are to actually prevent it and of course i'm talking about telling people not to go harassing andre not to go harassing um you know the game explain channel and goodbye games has said not to do it john cartwright said not to do it um i didn't say not to do it because i knew it was inevitable and there really is no point to saying not to do it besides patting myself on the back and making myself feel better like i'm not contributing i know by covering it i already contributed to it good vibe gaming john cartwright by saying anything knows that they contributed to what was going to be harassment and backlash and i think that you know, as much as I know Andre tried to make us feel bad for him, and I'm sure many of you guys do, um, I, I will say that sometimes you reap what you sow. And with how the other employees felt and the uh, some of the manipulative actions of Andre throughout the years, you know, he, he in a way sort of had it coming, at least to a certain extent. I, I sincerely hope he hasn't gotten death threats or anything like that. And Sometimes we have some unreal expectations of what we wanted out of this situation. A lot of you people were demanding that Andre make you know lump sum payments to these people, but also, hey, make sure the current staff are being treated better and paid to higher salaries and all this jazz. How can we expect Andre to pay current staff more money, but then also make huge lump sum payments to the former staff? Uh, Andre isn't like super rich or anything we're not talking about a pewdiepie situation or a mr beast situation or he i mean there are barely over a million subscribers they're not just sitting there rolling in the money i mean you watch you know beat em ups and he's very well off but would you call him rich maybe rich in life but i'm sure he's not rolling in the millions of dollars sitting in the bank so we can't sit here and expect andre to both pay former staff a bunch of money, but also pay current staff a bunch of money. It's just not a realistic expectation, and I never was an advocate 
uh, for that solution. I don't think there really is a clean solution to any of this. I think what it needs to happen now is you have to make a decision for yourself. If you're done with Game Explain, if you can never you never want to support or give any benefit of the doubt or trust back to Andre, then I think it's just time to move on for you. I think going and following Good Vibe Games, if you were really into that crew, is a good idea. Following Nintendo Life is a good idea. Uh, maybe you became a new subscriber of my channel and now you're going to follow my content. There's also numerous other content creators that cover Nintendo news you might not even be aware of. I'm not even going to sit here and be like, oh, you could just stay here for Nintendo news. You can go follow Switch Force. You can go follow Switch Stop. You could go follow um, Player Essence. You could go follow Spawn Wave. You can go follow RGT85. You could go follow numerous other YouTubers out there, most of which I feel are better than me anyways. I don't think that I'm like this grandiose, awesome, amazing YouTuber at the top of the pile uh, that does things better than anybody else. I think there's a lot of YouTubers that are way better than me. Uh, and if you want Nintendo news, I just gave you a whole list of YouTubers that at least I know of and am aware of that cover Nintendo news quite extensively. Obviously, I do as well. And if you choose to get your news here, awesome. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, all that jazz. Yeah, I have a giveaway going on for a Switch, a PlayStation 5, and an Xbox Series X. Details on that down in the description or the pinned comment. But if that's the only reason you're subscribing, um, please maybe look elsewhere. <laughs> uh, I want people to subscribe who actually want to watch my content. Now, some people have been tuning in to me quite frequently because they view me as the foremost person talking about this Game Explained situation. And I understand um, I've looked around the internet at various websites and YouTubers and Omni, I think is the only other YouTuber that has regularly covered this. Um, but I've been more, I guess, on top of the ball as they say about it. And it's mostly just because the situation is near and dear to my heart. But my thing is if after what Andre said, you don't want to give Game Explain another chance, then leave Game Explain alone. Tris, Chris, Tom, Joey, and whoever else is working at Game Explain is not deserving of the videos they make getting the backlash that it gets. I know it's going to happen anyways, and this extends way beyond my YouTube channel. We've got Kotaku and Vice and Reset Era and a whole bunch of places covering this, Twitter. It, it, it's to this point where obviously I'm small time in comparison to the overall crowd that's complaining about this, but I do think at some point you need to let it go and let the people that are there be. I understand there are those of you that will never let it go. People who have didn't like Andre before this and now will, will never let this go and will try to burn Game Explained to the ground and try to get them completely canceled off the internet. And to that I say, I understand it, but isn't there a better use of your time and a better use of your energy? We're only on this world for a finite amount of time. Do you really want to waste, you know, days, weeks, months, years of your life trying to cancel a channel that when you could instead go support channels that deserve your view more, maybe, you know, good vibe games, just throwing that out there, like support other content creators more. You know, if you, the, the number one thing you can do to cancel Game Explain, if that's what your ultimate goal is, is to stop clicking on their videos. Even if you have ad block on and all that, it doesn't matter. If you click on the video, technically you're helping their channel. Just like with the Philip Mewson situation a while back. Uh, for those who don't remember, he was a uh, Nintendo YouTuber that got hired by IGN uh, and then got busted for plagiarism. And then it turned out he had a ton of plagiarism all over his YouTube channel. And he tried coming back a few times and the fans just wouldn't have it. Um, I'll say this. It's kind of like that situation. At some point, you just move on. You got to let it go. Um, you don't ever have to trust that outlet again. Now, on the flip side of the coin, there are going to be those of you that want to give Game Explain another chance. You've been fans of them forever, just like I have been. Um, you are trying to be more uh, sympathetic towards Andre. After all, he started out his quote-unquote apology, which only one line out of the entire thing was an actual apology. So a bunch of paragraphs of stuff, one line was an apology. I just noting that just to let you guys know he didn't when you read the twit longer 
I know some people will look at it, and I'll link it down below. Some people will look at it as, um, you know, the whole thing's a giant apology. But if you read through it, he doesn't really apologize for anything until right at the end. So it's not really an apology. It's more so an explanation of his side of the story. And he starts it off by, 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 gain, by trying to get sympathy, you know, because the internet is really, you know, attacking him and twisting his words and all that jazz. Um, and I understand if you want to be sympathetic towards that. Most of us will never be understanding of that situation because most of us don't find ourselves in a situation where a majority of the internet's coming down on us. I've had people come down on me before as a public figure in certain communities, uh, but I've obviously never had it to the degree that Andre is. So I can't even, um, I can't even understand it fully. But I'll say that even if you are sympathetic towards it um, and want to give Game of Swing a chance, then do that. Don't run around to my channel or other channels defending them. Um, people, you know, calling me out saying that, oh, hey, you know, you're just, you're part of the problem. You're, you're just, I messaged Andre yesterday. I sent him a message, a sincere, honest to goodness message. Don't know if you'll read it. Don't know if he'll ever respond. He hasn't to this point, hasn't read it or responded. Uh, but I sent him a DM and I simply gave him some friendly advice, actual friendly advice to help Game Explain moving forward. If I wanted Game Explain to burn at the stake and be canceled, I wouldn't be offering this advice to Andre. And the advice was simply, hey, take your twit longer, make a standalone video about it, put it out on Game Explain, right? Uh, and let all of the people that are seething at the mouth, frothing, and just re ready to pounce on you, give them a video with your voice, with your words, for them to pounce on. Because if nothing else, this takes the pressure off your team. Right now, he only put it out on Twitter, on his Twitter, with only 35,000 followers. He's got 1 million plus on YouTube. It, what he said is not going to reach a majority of the audience that is bitching on YouTube. He needs to put it on YouTube so everyone can direct all of their focus to that one video and start to let the rest of the stuff be alone. When Tris makes a video, when Chris makes a video, when Tom makes a video, when Joey makes a video and their voices are heard, people will be less apt to attack those videos because there's a separate video where Andre is addressing the issues and they can feel like anyways they are directly talking to him. That's what I told them to do. And I, and I did you know, tell them, I, I apologized in a way. I literally said, I'm also sorry for any um, undue stress, you know, that I caused, you know, I apologize for that. Um, because obviously I realized that covering this, there's always going to be, you know, Andre's a human and he's obviously going to be impacted uh, by me covering it. And I was one of the first YouTubers, maybe even the first YouTuber to talk about it. Now I know a bunch of other YouTubers have at this point. Uh, most of them really tiny YouTubers, uh, all smaller than me. I think only Omni was, was like the big YouTuber bigger than me to talk about it. I think uh, it, it, it's time to begin that healing process. Whatever that healing process is for you, I don't. I can't speak to what works for you. I can only speak to what works for me. And what works for me is, look, all I wanted from Andre, ultimately, out of everything, was to know that what he did or what he contributed to the issues that his former staff dealt with was no longer happening with the new staff. I think the number one thing we can ever ask of anyone is to learn from the mistakes they have made. Even if he's not going to fully cop to them, even if he's not going to fully apologize, even if he won't say their names, even if he won't advertise their outlet and, you know, make a bunch of good faith gestures, you know, with giving them money or whatever the case might be, bare minimum, we want to see change. We want to see someone recognizing faults and improving upon them because we're all flawed humans. Many of us would like to think we would not make the same decisions if we were in Andre's shoes, but none of us have been in his shoes to know what kind, well, how we would have reacted, what decisions we would have made. We could say, oh, in hindsight, we would have done this or we would have done that, but we don't know because none of us experienced what he experienced and went through what he went through in the growth of game explain so 
And we're not going to know a lot of details. We're not going to know why Derek and Andre are, are on non-speaking terms, right? Derek put out there, I don't foresee anything that could ever happen that will make him and Andre talk again. Clearly something happened. I don't know what, but it's also none of my business. It's personal. Clearly when you're at that point, it's personal. It's not just about a professional situation. It's a personal one. So then none of my business, none of your business. And the thing is, Good Vibe Games wants us to move on. John wants us to move on. John Cartwright. Andre obviously wants everyone to move on. I'm not saying you have to move on, but I am saying that we need to find some peace within ourselves. There is a lot of hate out there. A lot of things that you could argue deserve to have some hate. Here's what we know about everything at the moment. Everyone that feels slighted by Game Explain that worked there is happy today. They are happy today with their current jobs, their current careers, their current projects, and their current, in some cases, YouTube channels. So at the end of all of the Game Explained stuff, they landed on their feet and are doing well for themselves. In fact, Goodbye Games has gained like 30,000, 40,000 subscribers since all of this. So even through the drama, they ended up gaining a bunch of fans too. So they landed on their feet and are doing really, really well. It's not like they had this all happen to them and they're still sulking in the corner. Now, you might say, well, if that's the case, if things are going so well, why did this stuff even come out in the first place? And speaking as someone who has some my own pent-up frustrations with some prior uh, employers that I worked for, uh, sometimes when you're so passionate about something and you put so much time into something and you're so frustrated by it and you've been keeping your mouth shut publicly for so long and then a casual conversation comes up, such as talking about Final Fantasy VII in terms of being one of the best games of April of last year, and uh, it, it could just trigger something, and that's what it did with Steve. It triggered him uh, into a whole, yeah, man, I remember, like, what I did and what I went through and like it just triggered him to mention something and then obviously in him mentioning some of the stuff that he went through it led to other members mentioning stuff as well and then obviously you had Steve's wife who was at his side through all of it being like look it's out there now I'm gonna let loose because if we're honest Steve's wife is what added a lot of ammunition to all of this um, because she's clearly angry about the situation. She's very angry about the situation, as she probably has a right to be, because she saw what was happening to her husband right in front of her eyes. He probably lost himself, to be completely honest, for quite some time. He saw, you know, she probably saw onsets of depression and the crying and everything else in between, plus the sacrifices she made for him to try to chase this dream that didn't seem all, all that realistic. So I understand that she just viewed this as, oh, Steve finally talked about it, so now I can just unload. And so she unloaded all of her stress about the situation, um, and it is what it is. Um, when you have that pent-up stuff inside and you just haven't gotten it out yet, sometimes it's going to come out. Now that it's out, I feel like it's almost therapeutic for them. They finally have this stuff out in the open, the air has been cleared. Everyone has voiced their frustrations and their experiences. And now it's just kind of time to move on to the next chapter, whatever that is for them and whatever that is for you guys. I can't tell you to stop hating Andre. If you don't like the guy and you still don't like the guy, you're probably never going to like the guy again. If uh, you don't want to watch Game Explain ever again, don't. But there's just no point in harassing Andre anymore. There's no point. There was never a point, by the way, in mocking and harassing the staff at Game Explain that are currently there. You know, you see people, you know, going into the comments and being like, "Oh man, how's that one dollar, you know, McDouble tasting for you?" Uh, which I don't think you can get a McDouble for a dollar anymore. Like, I think even a cheeseburger is like a dollar, dollar oh nine or whatever. There's, I think McChicken might be the one thing still on the dollar menu, maybe. I know you can get a large soda because all soda prices are the same at McDonald's. I don't know. I don't really eat that stuff anymore. But I used to work there a long time ago, back when McDouble was a dollar. I'm just saying that making comments like that to to like current employees or contract you know employees that are obviously being paid more, or at least Andre saying he's paying them more. Um, it's just 
they don't need to deal with that. You know why they put out those videos despite what's going on? Why they've been still putting out content despite what's going on? Because they want to. They're passionate about this. And what you guys are doing in going to their videos uh, that doesn't have Andre in them and you know just voicing all of this frustration and backlash and mocking this is you're kind of ruining their passion for all of this. You're making it unenjoyable for them to cover games. And I don't think that's what we want. We don't want the current staff at Game Explain to feel unwanted. We don't want the former staff at Game Explain to feel super, super guilty about affecting the new staff. What we wanted in the end, it, I, I can't speak for everyone, but what I wanted in the end is just Andre to acknowledge what he did, Andre to work on never doing it again, which he, he claims that he has. Uh, obviously, I can't know. I don't work for him. But, you know, Joey Ferris is the one employee that was really outspoken about it. And he um, described a situation that is uh, kind of backs up uh, what Andre claims he's been doing. Some people feel like Joey was coerced. Some people don't like Joey. And uh, I understand why some people don't. Um, I know some of the things that have happened with him over the years, some things he's done, um, some political stances he might have you guys don't like. I get it. Um, I'm not going to sit here and defend him either. Who you like and who you dislike is your own is your own problem. But we need to heal. We need to heal one way or another. We can't. It's not healthy for us to just focus on hatred. So if there's anything else I could say for this final video, it's regardless of of if you forgive Andre, if you don't forgive Andre, if you want to give Game of Spend a second chance or you don't want to give it a second chance. We need to move forward. We can't just keep living in the past. And I feel like that's what this is mostly about and why it's almost good for everyone that this came out. It's good for Goodbye Games It's and, and all the other people, the part-timers. It's good for John Cartwright and everyone else. This stuff came out because they got to kind of take a weight off their chest. They got to empty their mind almost in a therapeutic kind of way and just be, look, we're just going to put it all, all out there and like just kind of a relief that they could finally talk about it and, and just be done with it. Um, also, obviously, there is the benefit of the drama helped them grow. Uh, then there's also the side of Andre, who has probably been dealing with pressure and questions about how and why all of the original staff at Game Explain just up and left at once, and nobody bothered to say anything. Like, why did they leave? Andre didn't say anything. Um, the people who left said stuff, but if you weren't already following them on social media platforms, you would have no idea where they went. Uh, so it, it was a, a, a weird situation for Andre as well, where he probably also had to deal with these same questions from the new staff. Like, Hey, like, why are you hiring us? What happened to the old staff? You know, and I'm sure there was a, some words said about that behind the scenes, but Andre also needed to know that what he did was unacceptable. And he might've already knew that by the, you know, just the mere fact that he lost his staff probably already taught him lessons, but I think it coming out publicly teaches him additional lessons it teaches him what is acceptable and what's not acceptable because maybe he thought the, he thought that hey the only thing was that you know i didn't keep track of people's time and i didn't uh you know I, I didn't pay people on time and maybe he just thought that's what he needed to improve on without recognizing some of the manipulative things he was doing like not letting um derek stream on his own twitter or on his own twitch account uh if he did he could no longer be a, be a uh, you know a full-time staff a game explain for some odd reason, or John needing more money. Game explain not offering him more, uh, so he starts up a second YouTube channel to try to make money on the side. And then you know Andre deciding he's going to give him more and more work the moment that YouTube channel springs up, so John doesn't have time to do anything on that YouTube channel. It's a sticky situation where that stuff needed to be called out, so he could do some self inner reflection and realize. Yeah, man, I shouldn't have did that. That wasn't right. And I don't think if this stuff comes public, he would have ever even thought about those situations. And I think now he is. He's at least thinking about it. Whether or not he's remorseful for it, I have no idea. Only Andre can know if he's truly sorry. If he's just sorry the things came out or if he's actually sorry for what went down. Only Andre knows. No matter what he says publicly, only he knows. What I know is, I never unsubscribed from Game Explain. I'm still subscribed. 
I am still going to check out their content here and there. Now, I never really watched a lot of their content uh, over the last year. Uh, once John and all the stuff, it's just, I, I, you know, the the heart of Game Explained to me left. So I've been watching Good Vibe Games, today's news tonight. Um, been watching Nintendo Live content. But I still checked out Game Explained here and there. And I probably still will check out Game Explained here and there. One, just out of morbid curiosity of how they're doing. Uh, and two, because, hey, I still support the current staff that's there. I think there's a real chance that out of this, Game Explained could become stronger. Uh, it could become a place of reform. It could show that shady practices don't always have to keep being shady practices. We have seen too many game studios. We have seen too many um, games media continue to do shady practices even after being called out for them. If Game Explained is truly doing better, that's nothing but good for the whole of the Nintendo YouTube community. Now, that's it. That's what I got. Hopefully, um, you got something out of this video. If you want to go out to the comments and call me a piece of shit, that's fine. I can take it. Um, I just passionately care about the Nintendo community. And here on YouTube, where I am part of that Nintendo community, Game Explained is a big part of that. So when stuff like this happens, it, it, it does, it's not personal. Like, I don't have to forgive him. I'm not the one he slighted. I don't really... I don't feel like he needs my forgiveness. I don't know. If you think I did a great job, cool. That's cool as well. Um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> that's it. This is the final video, guys. Done. Finito. No more talking about this at my channel. We are going to move on to getting back to talking about games, even though we still talked about games the whole, this whole time. But we're going to keep talking about games more and more and more. All right, folks. Whew. That's it. I'm done. Game explain. Bye. Ha, <laughs> ha,